Hey guys, welcome back to Dad Bod. So today is our chest day. We've been alternating between 10 minute push ups one week and 10 minute dips. So it's dip week. Last time we successfully hit 22 dips per minute for 10 minutes. So we're going to up it to 23 today. Um, I've been asked a lot how often to do chest, how often to work a body part. For me, it's if you're going to hit it hard, if you're going to do a focus workout, I like to do it once per week. Um, if you're going to do something more fat burning where you're not really going to just push it too hard, maybe you're going to hit chest as part of a circuit, then that's something you can do every day. But um, the big guide is just look at, listen to your body. If you're sore, if you're super tight and sore, wait. I like to wait at least a day or two after the soreness resolves until you do like a hardcore workout in that, in that part. It gives it time to heal and lets you come back stronger. So if you want to do this workout at home, get a dip bar um, and pause the video. If you don't have a dip bar, you can just do push-ups or if your chest is sore, you can you know, work along with me, but just do squats, do squat jumps, do core, you know, kind of pick a workout and just do it whenever I go. All right. All right, here we go. We're going to do 23 dips per minute for 10 minutes and we're starting in five, four, three, two, Go. Okay, first that's done in 18 seconds. Whew, means we got about 40 seconds of rest. Um, first set I was going kind of slow. Shoulders are feeling a little bit tight. You know, take it easy. The first couple sets when you're doing these types of workouts, you want to make sure you're warmed up. It's probably smart to warm up a little bit beforehand. Um, 15 seconds for set number two. 10 seconds. Second set, I'm going to be going a bit slow too. Two, one, go. Okay, second one, 17 seconds. I'm going to pick up the speed a little bit on set number three. I'm starting to feel the heat. Starting to go through that kind of uncomfortable, uh, warm feeling you get when you start working out. Whew. Breathe through it. 25 seconds. 20 seconds. Here we go. 15 seconds. If you're new this to this channel, I like to do chest once a week. 8 seconds. I've been alternating between dips and push-ups. 5. Four, three, two, go. Fifteen seconds on that set. I like to try to get to about thirteen or twelve seconds. I think that'll be a good pace. Um, yeah, so I've been alternating between doing 10 minute dips and 10 minute push ups each week. Um, and each time I'm doing them, I'm adding one rep per minute for each of these 20 seconds. So last week, or last time we did dips, we did 22 per minute for 10 minutes. So now I go on 23. 10 seconds, we've got a goal of hitting 35 per minute for this series. Five seconds, three, two, go. All right, another 15 second set. And for the push ups, I'm working to a goal of 50 push ups per minute for 10 minutes. And that's not uh, 
We're not resting a minute in between sets. It's basically the remaining time that it takes us to kind of finish our, uh, our set. We rest the remainder of the minute, 20 seconds. And so that incentivizes you to kind of go as fast as you can once you're warmed up. And when you go fast, it's going to work explosive movements. It's going to build power and size. Five seconds. Three, two, go. Oh. It's also going to help build testosterone, help boost your natural testosterone production. You know, I believe in not taking anything. No steroids. Um, I don't take any supplements, any protein shakes, any multivitamins, nothing. I kind of like to derive all my nutrition from just a healthy, balanced diet. 25 seconds. And put the focus kind of on improving. Incremental improvement each time, 15 seconds. 10 seconds, we're going to breathe. Start to pick up the speed a little more. And three, two, go. Okay, that was 14 seconds. Gonna try to get a little faster. That's gonna optimize the time we get to rest. It's also gonna help us build our explosive fast twitch muscles. 30 seconds. And if you're new to working out, you know, I recommend not going to the dips, work your push-ups, do the 10-minute push-up program, start at a low number. Um, something you can get through all the way for 10 minutes, even if that's one rep. And then gradually up it each week. 10 seconds. 5 seconds. 2, 1, go! seconds. Take a sip. You know, with body weight workouts, I feel like um, you can continue to improve. You can continue to pretty much add at least one rep per minute per week. It's going to be hard. You're going to have to push through it. But you have to approach it from the mental aspect knowing that if you accomplish, let's say, seven you know, reps per minute previously, you can do it again, and you're just gonna push for that one more rep each time. Seven seconds, six, three, two, go. So, for example, I know I did 22 per minute last time. I know I can do that again. And so putting all my effort in getting that extra rep each minute. And when you approach your workout that way, you have an, an amount of focus that's gonna really help, help you get through it versus kind of arbitrarily walking into gym, doing a few machines, without really having a plan or a goal. Seven seconds. Four, three, two, go. Okay. Got one more. One more set, if you're doing this at home, let's focus everything we have for this last set. 
recover, enjoy the rest, get some water if you have it, 30 seconds. Getting a little stronger every day, uh, 20 seconds. And uh, if you see on the channel, you can adopt this workout, this methodology for all other body parts, for your legs, for your core, for pull-ups, for whatever. Six seconds. Three, two, last set. Hey guys, we got it done. It's been a while. I haven't been posting as much uh, content recently. I've got the kids on summer break. I've been taking them places. I've got family in town. So um, I'll still try to post at least once or twice a week for now. And I think in the next month or two, I'm going to start posting more frequently. But I want to at least keep uh, at least keep the chest stuff going. You know, I've been upping it every week, so I don't want to stop there. Next, uh, next week is push-ups, and then we'll be back at dips in two weeks. If you guys have any questions or feedback, let me know. Hope you uh, can benefit from this channel, and we'll see you next time.